Ecuador is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. It boasts lush jungles, snow-capped peaks, tropical islands, and historic cities. Ecuador is divided into four regions. The coastal plains, the Andean highlands, the rolling jungle of the Amazon, and the Galapagos Islands. Chimborazo, the highest mountain in the country with its 6,310 meters of altitude, is the king of the Ecuadorian Andes. Located in the Andes, Cotopaxi is the highest active volcano in the world. The Amazon is one of the most important ecosystems in the world because of its biodiversity. It is home to many species that are sadly near extinction. The Galapagos Islands are the ecological sanctuary and paradise for thousands of giant turtles, sharks, iguanas, sea lions, and birds. Ecuador is a country rich in culture and traditions. There remains a large population of indigenous tribes who reside in isolated areas, such as the Amazon jungle. Despite the beauty of its people and scenery, oil exploration and production in the Amazon region has left Ecuador with a severely contaminated water supply. The petroleum contamination has devastated water sources, crops, and livestock that the people rely on for survival. In rural communities, 47% of children have stunted growth and suffer from infectious diseases. Because indigenous people can no longer fish from contaminated waters and crops have been tainted by the petroleum, families are severely malnourished. Families use the water to wash, bathe, and drink because no other option is available. Lack of access to clean water is not the only problem plaguing the people of Ecuador. Of the population who live in rural areas, there is little access to income and they are faced with extreme poverty. 60% of Ecuador's population is living below the poverty line, 
living on less than $150 per month. Over one million children in Ecuador are child laborers. In rural communities, only 12% of children receive a basic education. The population of Ecuador is in trouble, specifically the children who are most affected by poverty, lack of education, and polluted water supplies. Immediate steps need to be taken to build better, healthier, and decent lives for millions of people in Ecuador. We need to provide the population with sustainable access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. We need to ensure that the children of Ecuador will be able to complete a full course of primary schooling. Ours is the generation that can make the difference and free our fellow men, women and children from the abject and dehumanizing conditions of extreme poverty. Ours is the generation. What will you do?